Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. Uh, yes, it's been an interesting week. I, um, I did a poll clerk job at um, a, a polling station in Finchley for uh, the mayoral elections. Um, fairly steady. Um, it was all right up until sort of like between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. when it was we had a queue out the door and um, I started off uh, uh, the morning uh, with uh, getting up very early and uh, it's just as well otherwise I would have been woken up by the thunderstorm which I ended up having to uh, uh, go out in to get the buzz um, so uh, luckily it was um, not too bad <laughs> well what does say I can say a thunderstorm is not too bad uh, it, it was heavy rain um but uh i um i didn't get struck by lightning which is good because i wouldn't have been here talking to you if i had and um uh, i also have my bike uh, repaired which uh, uh needed um new fogs because uh, uh a particular bit had, uh, had seized up so they uh, had to replace the fogs and um uh, a few other bits and pieces, which came to 287 quid. So that uh, was uh, a little bit pricier than I was expecting. But then again, I haven't had it serviced for nearly two years. So uh, I think we better get back into the regular rhythm of having a service every six months with the bike. Uh, it might make it cheaper in the long term. Um, on Saturday, uh, myself and Paul went off to... Um, uh, Loistoft, uh, where we uh, saw the uh, most easterliest point in the UK. So here we are. Here is, oh, I'm treading in water. Here's this, um, here is Britain's most easterliest point. There we are. Where can we go? We have 106 miles to London. And 350, 352 miles to the Lizard and 364 miles to uh, Land's End. There we are. Yeah, along with the most easterliest, uh, the, the most eastern church in the UK. So, before Britain's most easterly point is Britain's most easterly church. And um, there were a few things that were claiming to be the um, uh, the most eastern thing in the UK. Um, I suppose that the the point the uh, easterly point was the was by the sea, which was next to uh, a uh, wind turbine, um, which apparently was the largest wind turbine in the UK when it was built. Um, it uh, must have been a few years ago that um, um, uh, other highlights of uh, Loistoff was the um, uh, lifting bridge which uh, went up quite a few times to let boats uh, backwards and forwards. And um, it had uh, a nice prom and a, um, a beach as well. So, um, yeah, a lot of stuff was quite good. And um, then on uh, Sunday, it was off to my uh, second most favourite store, uh, which 
is being queued to get more DIY stuff because when I was taking the wallpaper off around the uh, window, uh, I found that um, it hadn't been sealed properly when the window was put in. So I had to um, uh, sort that out yesterday, uh, which was just as well because uh, uh, good old traditional bank holiday weather uh, kicked in and uh, it rained most of the day. Uh, so... Um, uh, DIY is a good uh, thing to do, especially um, when it is uh, throwing it down. I've also also the uh, the the two green bins that uh, that somebody kindly dumped by the side of the flats. So uh, I managed to get hold of the council, and they should be taking them away in the next um, uh, seven days or so. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. I hope they don't take mine away, that I've paid a fortune to be emptied for the next uh, 12 months. Um, that would be, be ironic, wouldn't it? So, until next week, goodbye. <laughs>